What's up everyone, this is Grim Reaper Sage. So this is basically the tutorial slash first little pre-bit of Monarch. Uh, this game came out on the 25th of February this year. It's on PS4 and PS5. There are demos on both PS4 and PS5. It's currently on a sale at the moment as a recording this, but it will end on the seventh on the sixth of the seventh, so this month. It currently is £37.49. It will go back up to $49.99 after the sale. Uh, the publisher for this was NIS America, who gave me a code for this in a cruel king. And so this is why I've got my review going up and everything else. Please like, share and subscribe to this video. It helps an absolute ton. As this is what I submit to developers and publishers to get uh, more games from them. So it helps an absolute ton. Please also check out my blog, which is www.garylodgegamesreview.game.blog. Follow me on there as well, and it will help an absolute ton on there. You'll be able to see all my fan art, all the pictures, and all the in-depth stuff I do for all my reviews. As always, anything you want to ask me about the game, drop it in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer. If not, I can reach out to the publishers. And as always, I'll see you all on the next one. Then don't give in to what others call normal. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals. Because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. Get ready. Another failure. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. <laughs> this little one just isn't good enough.
Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as your Dean. Now, now. You can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat, is all. Especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego and the seven desires that make up your will. What does school life mean to you? How responsible. Then let's follow up on that. Are you the diligent, note-taking type? How would you feel if you let a friend copy your notes and they did better on the test than you? It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? You're standing in line for... Hmm, let's say ramen. Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. What do you do? Have you ever looked at a naughty website? On your phone? Or your... <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? A situation has already been settled, but someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? Someone you hate is loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? Would you say you've ever truly loved some- If you had extra free time and money, how would you spend it? What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Is there someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? Choose one of these sets of words, would you?
your desire for gluttony surpasses all others. You grow by gorging yourself on as much as possible. You're a voracious consumer, always searching for something new. But you tend to lose sight of your goals. I'd guess that your unfocused methods sometimes lead to you getting burned out. Your desires are quite strong indeed. None of your desires should be neglected, you know? Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's not life at the Academy may be tough. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And ra ta ta Wake up. Please, open your eyes. He seems all right. Yeah. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. You're okay? Can you stand? The mist is too thick. Let's move. going we have to follow them stop hold up i'm beat i think i'm actually dying can't go on you're out of breath already we barely moved you really should exercise more often dr kakeru who's got the time i'm a weak old man you trying to kill me uh, with nozama was it it's nozome hinata you work here the least you can do is remember the students names Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. <clears throat> so much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. I'm so glad you're okay, though. When we heard a student collapsed on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? That's not very funny. This is no time to be joking, you know. Wait, you really can't remember? Huh? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right?
Wait. Chio, I thought your last name was Aikawa. Um, well, our family isn't exactly a traditional one. Ah, uh, I see. Can you remember anything besides your name? Family, friends, anything about the school? Anything at all? No. <coughs> I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of... Well, the mist does tend to... We don't know much about it. It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. But despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She would... You understand what I... Do you really have to act? The least you could do is... Don't worry about it. Well, we've had our little breather. There's no mist on the first floor. A phone call? But we've had no service this entire... Who could possibly be calling right... Maybe it's someone from the outside. Wait! Hello? What? What's that sound? Everyone, stay close! Just unconscious. What about the rest of you? Everyone all right? Facade, false, fretful, and failing. Funny and fragile. Quite the formation. Tremble <gasps> in delight. 
I am the abyss. I am one and I am all. The world and the self, ephemeral, eternal. And so too do I hold your destiny. Wait, wait, unhand me, you uncouth, unkind underling. The impudence instantly interrupting my interlude. Pretend to be petrified. You really put me off my game here, pal. Power is not a present to be provided. Pacify your predicament personally. These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level. Legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed and you're as good as dead. You are utterly deranged. Can't you just let me give you my cryptic mystical spiel? A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation? Enough. Dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, fate is static. It'll always persist. in a magic gear your soul made manifest you'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest the power of vanity is yours for the taking a reflection of your ego a fiend of your making now go and kill those things already
devour them. Get ready! Devour them! It's in your hands! Understood. <laughs> Where are your calls, your cheering cries? Return to your world now. Go! Claim your prize. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Bring your ego and power to bear against the irrational and unfair. One, Nozomi Hinata, blind old savior. This is the academy. We made it back. Is everyone all right? <sighs> Perfectly fine. Just a little bruised.
What do you look so worried about? You've been unconscious ever since you answered that weird phone call. I'll take Chio to the infirmary. You two go on down for now, okay? All right. Let's get going then. We can talk about the other world later on. And what were you doing on the second floor, former student council president Hinata? Hello, Karama. I thought I declared any areas overrun with mist off limits. I await your explanation. You there, do not interrupt me. Or do you truly have no idea who I am? Then allow me to debrief you. After the mist, barrier, and other anomalies appeared, the last student council tried to dispel the chaos with the faculty. And yet, said chaos has only increased. It was then that a savior appeared to quell the unrest, rallying the students with his overwhelming charisma. That savior is none other than I. President Kurama Hitotsubashi. Hinata was relieved of her duties, and at the behest of all, I took on the mantle of student council president. So what say you, Hinata? How does it feel to see how much more capable I am in comparison? It's true. I was inadequate for the demands of the office. I commend you on acknowledging your inferiority. Now, why did you enter the mist? Well... He collapsed within the mist, so you ventured in to save him. And this was with Dr. Kakeru Hasegawa and Chio Aikawa? Yes. I see. So you placed both the Academy's doctor and a middle school student in peril. Your foolishness astounds me. You should have come to me. As your student council president, I would have rescued him in a safer manner. <sighs> you may no longer hold the position yourself, but you still set a poor example by behaving this way. I believe some discipline is in order. What say the rest of you? Agreed! Agreed. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. But would you mind if I borrowed this young man and Miss Hinata? We have urgent matters to discuss. Well, well. If it isn't Ms. Sora Jingu, our beloved Dean.
Yoru, my name is Sora Jingu. Are you quite all right? You! Did I not warn you? Dean Jingu, we must consider impeaching Hinata. Impeaching? Of course, it truly breaks my heart. Hmm. No further action will be required at this time, Mr. Hitotsubashi. Thanks to you, of course. And not just for me. The rest... I'd hate to see you suffer from the guilt of punishing your peers, even if it was done out of responsibility. Surely it'd be fine to let it... <laughs> As you wish, I'll... Come along, everyone. Yes, yes sir. Remember, Hinata. Well, that takes care of the rank and file. Why do... I see. So you were dragged into the other world after answering a phone call and... Hmm. There's just one thing I need to know. How exactly did you... How did they flee the other... Vanitas? A demon? No. A monarch? I am the answer for which you strive. A demon? Hmm. So that... Did you make a pact with a demon in exchange for power? An authority, so to speak. And what did you wish for? Beset by the legions with nothing to give. No wonder he asked for the power to live. So you weren't actively seeking to become a Pact Bear? I sense that someone managed to return from being drawn into the other world to think a new Pact Bear would... If I may ask, what sort of a... Th the Authority of Vanity? I've never heard of that. Perhaps it's an aberration. You're surprisingly knowledgeable about all this de That I am. But extenuating circumstances prevented me from talking about them before. These secrets are normally reserved for the head of the Jingu family. As a However, seeing as you already know, there's no point in hiding things. There is a metaphysical plane that exists. That is the realm you visit. Demons are supernatural beings that live in the other world. They feed on. There are seven demons known as monarchs, one for each sin. As progenitors, if they make a pact with someone, they are in order to make a pact. One must have a cause, but vanity is an aberration. It isn't one of the deadly sins. Your Consider a far-fetched goal. Reality can't be changed, and would they be able to resist temptation? Powers from the other world are against the natural order. The mist, the barrier around the academy, the calls from the other world. So please, unless the situation to the Jingu family has maintained balance, we've attempted to prevent the... And yet they've appeared regardless. We are currently aware of at least seven others. Voiding their packs is the only way to... Might I ask you to use your powers for the welfare? I believe a pact bearer of your circums... Please, bear with me. You have my thanks. Huh? 
Now then, would you prefer a detailed explanation on how to void the packs? Or will the... While exploring the mist in the academy, you will receive call. There, you will find crystals known as ideals. Shadow, though it pains me to ask the fate of our academy. <laughs> Mr. Vinitas, I would appreciate if you concealed yourself around any students who are unaware of the situation. Your appearance would cause a great deal. I'm here for the boy, so don't worry your head. My only concern is what road he will tread. I'll take that to mean you intend to behave. These are reference materials about demons, packed bear. I'll be taking my leave. <laughs>